I got a little alert on my phone, like a Gossip Girl blast that said um, flooding in my area, I shouldn't leave unless I'm fleeing. But I chose to ignore that and I'm at the grocery store. Don't look in my car. No one's looking at me, I need to remember that. But people are though, because I'm looking at everyone. Probably the dumbest thing ever, I'm not even wearing a rain jacket. All three of my brain cells went on vacation for this one. I'm debating going home, getting a raincoat and going back out, but like once I'm home, I'm home. And this weather makes me just wanna not do anything. But I also really wanna make grilled cheese because of the weather. Do you see the dilemma that I'm in? I could sit in the car with the rain all day, like this sound, unmatched. It's California, I don't even own a good raincoat. This is, maybe I should have listened to the little Gossip Girl blast. I don't know, can I put this on the, tri I got a little tripod, hold on. It's not, you know, fantastic, but I mean, I feel like this is an Uber and I'm gonna get people back there, or like this is carpool karaoke, but I just wanted to test out the tripod. I'm gonna maybe go home, get a tr raincoat, or I'm gonna go home and you're not gonna hear from me for like three days. Only you will know because you're gonna see the next clip in this, so. I don't know why I took the groceries out of the bag when I fully intended to do a grocery haul. It makes more sense to pull them out of the bag. Now I just feel like, what's going on? Let's go, girls. That makes me want to kick a door off its hinges. All from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. You can tell what's from Whole Foods and you can tell what's from Trader Joe's. First thing that I got was juice. When did they bottle this is what I want to know. Maybe I should freshly juice. Whatever. Green juice and being a healthy girly. But let me just show you the juxtaposition of that. I got green juice, but also because it's raining, I got cake. So, if that's not a vibe or my personality in a nutshell, I don't know what is. But this cake goes so unbelievably hard and for what? Uh, story time, super quick. I don't know what age I was, but in high school, I smoked weed for the first time and this was the cake that I had that night. And I will always remember this cake that way. That was the most euphoric moment of my life. This cake was God in that moment for me. And I've never let that go. I feel like this goes without saying, but like in case people think, I don't smoke weed. I haven't for years. I've only like once in a while would do it, but I am that type of bitch that gets panic attacks. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it was my mental health, but whenever I would try to do it, I would feel my bone, feel like people could hear me breathing and they were out to get me. No. So I haven't done it in years, but if I did, you would know because like I talk about how I used to drink. So like potato, potato, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I know I said I was doing 75 hard, but it's raining and I'm depressed. So I'm gonna have the cake, okay? And then I'm gonna make my grilled cheese girly. So I got great little tomatoes because I'm gonna do my tomato soup. I also got thyme for it and then basil. I get Munster cheese for my grilled cheese. I don't know why or when that started. I think my mom made it for me like that and I just never went back. For someone who loves spontaneity and like raw dogging things, I sure do follow routine and stick with things. But at the same time, I love to switch it up and I love change. Like I'll move on a dime, but I will get the same cheese that I have got forever. And then an onion. I got more ground beef. And then I was also out of red pepper flakes, which I've had the same giant bottle of red pepper flakes for, I think since I moved out on my own seven years ago. I wonder what the expiration date on that was. But when my mom came over to clean the pantry with me, she looked at it and um, she was like, girl, I was like, girl, it looked fine to me. It worked fine to me. I'm not dead. So we got some jalapenos. We got some cilantro. I feel like I said that very white in that moment. I don't know. Got some limes, some iceberg. Let, ugh. This is wilty, girl. This is why I do my own grocery shopping. I don't trust other people to pick things for me. Then these little guacamole packets, these are great because they're in little packets. You can just take one out, add the lime, add the cilantro, and you don't have to worry about wasting an entire avocado and then saving it and it going bad and uh, uh. Best thing that Trader Joe's ever did. And then also I got some pico de gallo, just some bananas because, you know, I noticed that my other bananas are getting What's the word? Bad. So I'm gonna make banana bread girly, but I was out of chocolate chips and brown sugar, so. Oh my God, look at the pantry. The bottom has to be done still. Also needed some oat flour. I got a restock of my olive oil spray. Oat milk, I also got some apples. And the last thing I got were these protein waffles. I also got the blueberry ones, but I literally just ate one in the five seconds that I was home, so. They're chickpea waffles, which sounds absurd and illegal, but they're so good. 10 grams of protein in these hoes, and they taste delightful. That's everything that I got from a little grocery haul. I'm going to put everything away, restock my pantry, and then I don't don't want to do anything for the rest of the day.
Oh, I hate being an adult. How am I an unsupervised adult for seven years? But I've been an adult for like eight. Ew, I hate when my phone tells me what I spent. Like I know I just spent money, shut up. I also have Right Where You Left Me by Taylor Swift stuck in my head and that's, that can't be good. I already had it, well, my dad. I'm also not getting my lashes refilled. I've been getting my lashes done since I was, I wanna say 15. I really wanna try at home lash extensions. I don't know, I'm going through something. I don't know. I feel very ugly without lash extensions. I still have like stragglers. I wanted to try it. If I hate it, I'll go back to getting lash extensions. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm trying to be more chill, low maintenance, squirrely. It doesn't sit well with me, but I'm trying. Anyway, today I want to organize my spices. So I got the stuff for that. I wanna wear this shirt. But like it's it's doing too much for organizing a pantry. It's giving Bella Goth. I mean, anyway, my focus is at an all time low today. When is it ever high? <laughs> Let's do a quick little, a little spice organization moment, haul, whatever. The spoons, I got these little spoons, so. We have the funnels to do the spices. You know how on Gossip Girl season one, when Lily went over to Rufus's house and they were making something, I don't really know. But she took the little spice out with a little spoon and she's like, oh, it needs more tarragon. The vibes were immaculate. I'll link the exact stuff that I have below where it comes with the jars and the little labels. There are, I don't know how many, but when you click the link, you'll see. Let me show you the current state of the spices. This is how the pantry is looking. That's, you know, she's cute, she's fine. This is the straggler shelf. So we're gonna do all the spices. There's spices back there. The spices are what we're working on today, but also, don't look at that. I was thinking that because the spices, I don't have like that cute, you know, drawer thing that all those girlies have, and I don't have a drawer for that that would really make sense. I was gonna put the spices here. I am going to make a YouTube short of this vibes and I have this, my little me hair. Hi, so I can see how it looks. I'm too much in it, that's the problem here. I think I need to change the shirt because this is like giving too much Bella Goth. I've decided to change shirt. Girl, oh. I could have just poured it in. Look at this, revolutionary. Oh my God, that's crazy. Because I bought the bigger, thing, like, I wanted the funnels though. I wanted the funnels. That's, oh, that's beautiful. Is this not so cute? Is this not the cutest thing ever? Oh, I feel like I should know how to cook so much better than I do. People are gonna yell at me and be like, girl, this was meant for if you had the vertical spice container. And you know what? I don't care. I did decide to put the spices in here. I realized that I cannot see what those are, but I, I'll intuitively know what, what, what is what, I guess. But I put the little spice rack here and that's how they're leveled. That's so gorgeous. I really hate that the spice thing could only go this far. So they have to be a little tilted. Oh, that hurts so bad, but it must be done. And then I put the little Lazy Susan up here and these are more, my main spices, so these are spices that I use every day if I'm using spices, basically. Those are like my everyday makeup routine, the rest of my makeup collection. Does that, does that make sense? I don't know. That's wellness stuff. I, I don't even touch, I don't know. I need to organize all my wellness pantry stuff, but that is how I did the spices. And then that's still ugly, but that's just, okay. I have more of the refills, the spices that were up there. I just did, I just used the marker that came with the spice jars and then put, I yes, I just, I used the Trader Joe's spice container to just add the extras that didn't fit in the spice container. And then I used the marker that came with the set to, to decipher them. Not cute, not organized, but this will eventually get done. But now the bulk of everything in my pantry is gorgeous. I can't wait to film cooking montages because it's going to be so beautiful. I'm gonna clean out the closet today. I want to do a heavy purge and get rid of so much. Also follow me on Depop, I'll link it below. That's where I'm gonna list all of the clothes that I'm not giving away that I'm gonna sell. First step, I'm gonna take everything out of the main closet and throw up. 
okay. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. It's just, I don't wear anything. Do you think that I wear all of these? I wear probably two of them and then one of these. Love them all, don't wear them. There has got to be a better way to store shoes and see them because again, I wear the same two shoes. Do I wear color? Be for real. It's kind of cute though. No, this I know is a cute top. I just don't. I don't know how to wear color. I will never not love this. Yes. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I like this. I've worn this for years. Maybe it's time to let go. I don't want to say goodbye though. I kind of love this, but I never wear it. I have kept this for years, years, thinking one day, one day. I love it, but I hate it, so. I thought this would be easier, but these are all the maybes. These are the definite no's. So now we're gonna go through these. I'm gonna try them on because I have a bunch of clothes there. And then I also have new clothes in my office that I need to bring in. So I really need to be ruthless. So I'm gonna go through these, try them on because that is not nearly, not nearly enough. Oh, this is so cute. Why don't I wear this? Why don't I wear anything? I need to start wearing my clothes. Nah. Ooh, it's kind of cute though. I do this every year and then I don't wear it. I kind of like it. They can never make me hate peasant tops. I hate it though. I hate this one. Pretty sure I hate this, but um, I feel like a bandage. No. I haven't worn this in like 10 years, but I would love it. Every time I say I'm going to wear this, where would I wear this other than a cruise to the Bahamas? But I love it. I have to keep it. I have to keep it. I'm sorry. I'm... They can't make me hate you. I did it. No, I didn't. I have to try these on now. Ugh. These are all of the clothes that I'm giving away selling. It doesn't feel like enough. Mind you, I have four bins in my closet in my office of clothes that I have been meaning to sell on Depop. So this is just adding to that. Hello. I have a chai now and a sweater because I'm cold and thirsty. Look at all of that. I'm going to put the hangers all backwards because I'm going to do that little trick where you put them all backwards and then when you declutter your closet again, you can see what you actually wore. That should be fun. That's gonna mess with my brain because seeing the hangers backwards is gonna make me vomit. Let's just bite the bullet and do that. Yeah. <laughs>